In this tutorial, we're going to use uh, the integral definition to find uh, the Laplace transform of uh, f of t is equals to 1. So given that uh, function f of t there, the definition says that if f of t is defined for t greater than or equals to 0, the Laplace transform of f of t is given by f of s is equals to the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st multiplied by f of t dt. But in this case, we are given that our f of t there is a 1. So where we have f of t in the formula there, we put the 1 there, and we get the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st times 1 dt. Exponent of minus st times 1 is just gives us exponent of minus st. And when you integrate with respect to t, we get exponent of minus st divided by minus s. And then we put the limits from 0 to infinity. So what is uh, now left at this stage is uh, to put in those limits. But the upper limit there has an infinity. So to put in that limit, we we'll write it as uh, the limit as t approaches infinity of exponent of minus st divided by minus s minus exponent of minus s times 0 divided by minus s. Let us now look at uh, that limit there. Uh, the limit as t approaches infinity of exponent of minus s t divided by minus s. When we started, we said that uh, t is uh, greater than or equals to 0. So that limit can only converge when s is uh, greater than 0. And uh, when s is greater than 0, and that limit will converge uh, to 0. Just because uh, the limit as uh, t there approaches infinity, it will approach uh, a 0. So we have that part where we have the upper limit there, it will give us a 0. And uh, where we have the lower limit of a 0 there, exponent of minus s times 0, it gives us a 1. So we would have 1 there, and our expression will become 0 minus 1 divided by minus s. And it's only guaranteed when s is greater than 0. And we can multiply throughout by minus there, and we get 1 over s. So what we are having there is uh, the Laplace transform of uh, O1 is 1 over S. And uh, this can only be true when uh, S is uh, greater than 0.